Good morning, everybody. So this is your S&P 500 setups for today. So uh, my reservations yesterday were not unfounded. And um, we do have a fairly strong zone of resistance, uh, of potential support, sorry, just below us. And that's at 5805. I suspect 5800 would be the level and then 5780 as well. We are at the beginning of uh, earnings season, so obviously you are going to get this kind of volatility. Now, a couple of things to be concerned about is you do have a weekly pin bar forming. It's not done yet. And then if you look at the daily, you have a massive inside bar here, which uh, I'm not going to read too much into it. There will be another attempt up. The question is from where? And you can see these two levels I've put in. The, the daily level is probably be the stronger one, which is at 57.80. When we drill down to the three hour, uh, there is a three hour level, which we did look at yesterday. And obviously price did not uh, adhere to it. And then we've also got the gaps that I spoke about yesterday, which are still open. So there's a gap for here at 58.12. And then we did come back down to it. Oscillators pointing down, separating ever so slightly. Trend is still up. There's no two ways about that. You are looking for an area of support. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, between 58.05 and 57.80, there's a fairly strong area of support. And you'll see it clearer on the one hour time frame. So, for now, we are in amongst the moving averages on the hour, so that is a bit of a range. Uh, we do have two lines in the sand above us. I'll get to them now. And then this zone here doesn't really change much, but you can see any one of these tails as an opportunity for the buyers to step in. So uh, drilling down to the 15 minute, which is what you would have been watching yesterday, so you can see we had this massive move down. Um, not even sure why, I haven't even looked for why it moves. More than likely, either some comment or there was some uh, negative results coming through, which spooked the market a bit. But I do believe people are just waiting for a better cost-effective, cheaper price um, to get in. So the zone that we are flirting with at the moment could very well be a resistance zone but I suspect you are heading 5812 5805 5800 and anywhere in between here if you just head left you're going to see what I'm talking about any one of these fractals so any one of these tails would impact price okay so um, for me, we're looking for either to regain this 58.36 area, but I also have a sneaky suspicion that this gap is still open at 58.12. I suspect we are going to be heading down this area. So for me, I think a buying opportunity is going to be between, um, well, let's just round this off, uh, somewhere around 5,800. And you're going to have to sit back, be patient. Where's that 50? That's 5,800 right there. And put some of these levels in. So when you come back to where price is, you can have a really busy chart. But you would expect price to bounce off one of these levels between 58.12 and 57,800. Uh, 58.12 is the gap so I suspect you probably just barrel through that down to 5800 that's kind of the retest I think you're going to be looking for so what you're looking for is inside bars engulfing bars pin bars off that level um, if you do get that structure fairly decent opportunity to get in and probably smallish position size and risk around 200 points so if you can't get a stop loss that is around 200 points wait for a better entry anyway 
that's kind of my view. Uh, I suspect this is just a small pullback in a bull trend. And uh, there's a whole lot of more results coming out today or earnings results coming out today. So it could swing it in the opposite direction or it could add fuel to fire. Uh, anything is possible. But uh, just keep in mind, this is a strong zone of support that you're coming into. And when you just drill down to the daily, you'll see what I mean. Uh, 57.80 is a strong area of support. Okay. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.